Welcome back, Raptors. We are so excited to have you walking our halls again. We've missed you. Here are just a couple guidelines that we're taking to make sure that all students and staff are safe for students' return. Hey, Raptors. At every entrance when you come into the school for arrival, you're going to see a staff member with a, a cart just like this. And on their screen, it has the list of everyone who has already self-certified. So before you leave the house, you and your parents are going to make sure that you do this either on your parent's cell phone or on your laptop at home, and we can see everybody's. So for example, you can tell Mr. Lustrup his parents self-certified for him. Now my screen is yellow because I already self-certified earlier today. For you guys, this screen has to be green. If you're dropping off students in the car rider line, the staff that's out there will want to see this before your kids come out of, this, out of the car. So you need to be doing that. If you can do it ahead of time, we'll know on the, on the schedule on the computer that it's already done. I cannot stress the importance of self-certifying. If you self-certify when you come in the building, you'll be heading right to class. Otherwise, we have to stop and check, make phone calls home, and you might end up in a holding area while we figure it out. So make sure you develop the habit of self-certifying every morning before coming to school. Would you like some hand sanitizer? Squirt, squirt. This is in all the classrooms and in every entrance. Have a good day. All of our hallways have playing field arrows to tell you which way to walk in the hallway. So if you're not sure where to go, just look at the floor or you can look at one of the walls. Outside of the drinking fountain, you'll find multiple places for students to stand while they wait for the water bottle filler. The drinking fountains have been disabled and only students that bring water bottles will have those to drink, and they can fill those up here. You also notice that we have a sign here that the bathroom is closed due to it being clean. We have a schedule for the bathrooms that makes sure that there's never two classes here at the same time, and it's cleaned often during the school day. Ladies, when it's time for you to use the bathroom, make sure you follow the social distancing stickers on the floor. So when you're waiting your turn, you'll stand on the sticker and wait until somebody is ready to let you in. When you come in here, you can use any of the stalls, and when you're finished, please make sure you wash your hands thoroughly. You can stand on the sticker on the floor to wash your hands at this sink or at this sink. And notice that the middle sink has a big red sign that says do not use. That's to practice safe social distancing. So please don't use the middle sink, only use the outside sinks. For the boys' restroom, we see the same thing. We have a place here to stand while you wait. Coming inside, you'll see that we have some of the urinals are blocked off so that the students aren't too close to each other. And then again, we have several places to wait. It's not a challenge, it's just a place to wait. We also have places blocked off the sinks. The middle sink again is blocked off so that we're not using the middle sink only on the sides. And lots of signs about wash our hands. The importance of that cannot be stressed enough. In the hallways, you'll notice the arrows down the middle indicating that it's going one way. On the out branches, though, we need to go both ways. And you'll see arrows near the wall, down the right side, and coming back down the left side. For some of you, this means if you're coming in as a busser, you're gonna come down on this right side. But when we get to this middle section, I'm gonna have to follow the arrows and follow around before I can go get down that wing. If I wanna use the stairs down there, I can, or the stairs down there. But I have to follow with the arrows as this big section here in the middle is one big counterclockwise circle. Notice how they're staying against the walls so that they're social distancing and they're following the pattern of the arrows. Oh, hello there. You may notice the sign and have wondered, how are we gonna go up and down stairs? All of our stairwells are multi-directional and will change throughout the day. During arrival, this stairwell will be going up, indicated by the large blue arrow. Dismissal when we have more students leaving, we'll take the arrow off and turn it down. For our students that travel, you see that we also have a school time direction so that students can get from class to class, especially if they have to go upstairs.
So each day when you come to Ridge, you're going to have two groups of students. You'll have groups who come on Monday, Tuesday, which we're calling our yellow or gold group. And then we have students who will come on Thursday, Friday, which we're calling our blue group. Our colors are blue and gold for Ridge Raptors. We have in every classroom our areas marked. So we have our yellow or gold, and then we have our blue group. So students will know which group they're in, and then we know that we have our safe spots for the students to sit in each day. Some of our classrooms have the plastic partitions. You can kind of see it between the students sitting here at this table. And in other classrooms, we have desks. We'll show you examples of those too. In other classrooms that have desks, you will see that the desks appear like they're not too far apart, but you can tell that these desks, there won't be students sitting at the same time because you have a yellow R and a blue R. So these two students will not be here on the same day. So this desk with a blue R and this desk with a blue R, those students will be here on the same day. Just like you see Mr. Lestrup sitting in his desk, you see Ms. Robbins sitting in her desk, that's how the students will be distanced safely when they're in person together on the same day. All of the classrooms have hand sanitizer in case students want to use that in addition to having the ability to wash their hands with soap and water. All classrooms and all offices have their own extra cleaners and rags if they need to wipe anything down extra or more often. You'll see even the classrooms where we wash our hands, we have stickers indicating where to stand so the students keep their social distance as we encourage, again, lots of hand washing. people in